Once upon a time, John Travolta was the coolest dude on the planet. In recent years, though, he's gained a reputation for being, you know, maybe just a little weird. And we're not just talking about Battlefield Earth. While you were still learning how to spell your name, I was being trained to conquer galaxies. Here's a look at some of the creepiest things John Travolta has ever done. Faith Healer Travolta's dedication to Scientology is well known, but less well known is that he allegedly uses his faith to heal people. According to Josh Brolin, the two were at a Hollywood dinner party where the legendary Marlon Brando was experiencing pain from a cut leg. Travolta offered his services as a healer and laid his hands upon Brando. Brolin told The New Yorker, I watched this process going on. It was very physical. I was thinking, this is really bizarre. Then, after 10 minutes, Brando opens his eyes and says, that really helped. I actually feel different. Travolta's representatives called this account pure fabrication. Wedding Crasher In 2013, a guest at a wedding in Georgia reportedly ran into Travolta at a bar the night before the ceremony. When the wedding began, guess who rolls in? Wearing blue jeans, a black t-shirt, and a black baseball cap? Yep, it's Travolta, who not only crashed the wedding, he even crashed the official wedding photos. So, congratulations? Chris Kringle. In 2012, John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John provided the Grease reunion that everyone was waiting for. Or that's what people thought, until they actually listened to the holiday album This Christmas, which the Edmonton Journal said was, "...as scary as your weird uncle who insists on showing up to Christmas dinner pantsless." The album only sold 36,000 copies, despite, or perhaps because of, widespread media discussion about the creepy album cover and the epically cheesy music video for the single I Think You Might Like It. Think again, John. Strangers in the Night In January 2015, an Ocala, Florida man named Justin Jones finished up a late shift at work and hit the local Planet Fitness for a quiet workout at 3 in the morning. But there is one thing he never counted on, John Travolta. Jones told ABC News that Travolta just wandered up out of nowhere and struck up a conversation that lasted about 15 minutes. On the plus side, it did give Jones the chance to thank Travolta in person for Welcome Back, Cotter. Jones said, "...he seemed very flattered by that. He asked a lot of questions about if I was married and if I had kids. The time just flew by. The weirdest part? This has actually happened before." Introducing Adele Dezeem in 2014, all Travolta had to do at the Academy Awards was read a cue off the teleprompter introducing singer Adina Menzel's performance of Let It Go from Frozen. Instead, it became one of the most famous flubs in Oscar history when he somehow said this. Please welcome the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazim. Needless to say, Menzel was mortified. And right. I got out there and I said, don't forget to breathe, and then he introduced me, and then for eight seconds, I felt very sorry for myself." Travolta later explained to Jimmy Kimmel that he misread a phonetic spelling of her name because he was distracted by meeting Goldie Hawn backstage, and apologized for the mistake. Uh -huh. I'm starstruck hugging and loving her up and forgetting that I have to go and do this bit. And it was just phonetic spelling, but I, wasn't, I didn't rehearse it that way. So this was Goldie Hawn's fault. <laughs> Speaking of which, sorry Adele Dazeem. A year later, Travolta returned to the scene of the crime for a public apology on the stage of the 2015 Academy Awards. Menzel played along, joking with Travolta about the mishap. Please welcome to the stage my very dear friend, Glom Gazingo. But when it came time for an apology, well, things got all Travolta'd up. I deserve that, but you, you, my darling, my beautiful, my wickedly talented Adina Menzel. You guys! What's even weirder is that, according to a Travolta representative, this was a pre-planned exchange that Travolta and Menzel rehearsed. Just how? Sorry, Scarlett Johansson. Travolta just doesn't have very good luck at the Oscars. In addition to his two-part Menzel saga, there was also a widely circulated 2015 photo of Travolta appearing to be the creepiest creeper who ever creeped during a red carpet encounter with Scarlett Johansson. However, it was reportedly all just a misunderstanding. Johansson defended her one-time co-star, telling the Associated Press, "...there is nothing strange, creepy, or inappropriate about John Travolta." She said the image of their odd exchange was "...an unfortunate still frame from a live-action encounter that was very sweet and totally welcome. For his own sake, though, maybe he should just stay away from the Oscars for a while. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.